What's up, everyone? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. Now, this video is about using the FM radio in 2020 and what devices are available and capable and compatible with the FM radio chip on your mobile device, um, your, your smartphone and tablet, or just smartphone, mainly smartphones anyway. But, um, uh, a lot of people really, truly don't believe that the FM radio is still needed and is still usable and is still important in 2020 as it is in any other year in the past. For the simple fact that we're going through some crisis and some pandemic and all this this stuff. And, and then not only that, but we're in a season of hurricanes, tornadoes, strong storms that can knock out power, that can... Um, create floods and you need an emergency backup. You need an emergency alert. And I feel like if you, if you just depending on Wi-Fi, you depending on house internet, you depending on your cellular data and unlimited data. And you, you with an iPhone or a Google pixel, then you out of luck. And what I mean by that is, okay, don't get me wrong. Yes, we can on Wi-Fi and internet. Sure. We can, Use Spotify. You know what I'm saying? Spotify will work on Wi-Fi and internet. You know what I'm saying? I get that. I understand that. Pandora will work on Wi-Fi and cellular data, cellular connection. I get that. I understand that. But what if you out of cellular data? What if you not around Wi-Fi? Okay. Let me go ahead and turn on airplane mode. All right, so that means I'm getting no connection. I'm getting no notifications, nothing. All right, I got this Motorola G7. Shout out to the Moto Gs. We're still in here. But I'm in this Motorola phone. I have, I can't call out. I have no data. I can't call and text. I can't do nothing. I can't get on social media, YouTube, nothing. You know, unless you got the premium packages, which allow you to download offline. But that's besides the fact. But... If I got this app called the FM Radio, let me open it up. All right. So, I'm listening to the local radio stations right now across the city, the area in, in, in which I live nearby. I can still listen in on podcasts, um, local news, radio stations, whatever like that. So, Okay, prime example, ESPN Radio. Here we go. Let's let me use the loudspeaker for you. Strup generally is doing well. Collectively, they are doing well. So we're trying to. Okay, so I got the option. I can listen with the headphones. I can listen with the headphone jack. These headphones are also Bluetooth. They're wireless and they're also Bluetooth. So I can, if I wanted to, shout to Insignia. I like that's another option. That's why I like. Um, headphones that give you more than one option. So, I mean, if I have power, I don't know if I haven't charged these up in a while. I just use the headphones, headphone jack. Anyways, if I wanted to, I could turn on Bluetooth. All right. So the FM radio on Motorola phones give you the option to. These are Bluetooth uh, headphones, so I can use a wired or wireless, and I, I still, you know, get good thump, good bass, and all that. Um, that's besides the point. But um, <laughs> this app gives you the the options: loudspeaker, Bluetooth, or headset. So if I want, like I said, if I want to, I can use Bluetooth, which is DR Bluetooth, and I'll still be able to listen to the FM radio wirelessly. If, if I have to, the, the situation may be that I'm in a flood or a tornado or hurricane come through or, you know, just in a crisis. Um, so I can listen to all these radio stations. Whatever's available in my area, whether you in Chicago, New York, California, Florida, uh, Wyoming, Oklahoma, I don't, I don't care wherever you at. This is why the FM radio is still important. That's why I'm saying that. Okay, also, what I like about the um, FM radio app from Motorola, you got this option to record. So, whatever's on the radio right now, if I wanted to record what's on 
STL Hot 104.1. I can record what's ever playing on the radio. So they got uh something by uh, Fresco Kane. Okay, so it's a song on it's a song out now by Fresco Kane. Um, on Hot 104.1 right now. I'm listening to the song right now. Or I'm recording it. You know. And I can stop it. And say. Uh, you know. I can I can even call it a different. Uh, say Fresh Cocaine. Fresh Cocaine. New music. Or if that's the case. It, whatever. Hot 104. And then I go back here to the tab. Go to recordings. And boom, here it is. What I just recorded. And then I can play it back. And then I got all these options. I can play it on Google Play Music, YouTube Music App, AT Player, Files by Google, VLC, Cody, Podcast Addict. So these are all the open source applications I can play that recording from. That's why I like the Alpha Radio application that's in that's included with Motorola. Now there's another option out there. That still works if you got the phone that supports Elfin Radio. It's called Next Radio. So this is the Next Radio app. Okay, it says airplane mode is on. The radio is disabled. When airplane mode, when in airplane mode, please turn off airplane mode to use the radio. Okay, so unfortunately with the Next Radio app, it doesn't play in airplane mode. But if I turn it off, watch. If I turn it off. Which is off. It's back on Wi-Fi. Okay, so I turn off Wi-Fi. Hold on. Let, let, let's just get off that subject. No Wi-Fi. Okay, you have no Wi-Fi. You have no internet. You have no unlimited data. You're on 2G speeds or you on 1 gigabyte of data, 2, 3 gigabytes of data. All right. I'm pressing play. Watch this. All right. Let me let me uh, plug the headsets back in because that's probably what the issue is. Let me go plug that in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug these back in. Boom. All right, so the next radio app is working. I hear it. It's still working. All right, it's still working. Okay, so go there. Let me see. Let me change the station. If it do, sometimes it, it, it does change it, sometimes it doesn't. Let me see. For some reason, it doesn't want to change it, but. Before I did this video, it was working offline. It was working, but um, the app does work. It does work um, offline, and it does work without internet. It's just acting funny, you know what I'm saying? They stop supporting it, but it is what it is. Oh, it's working now, see? See? Okay, I'm changing stations. 1.3 to B, okay? All right, so, all right, so a way you can get this application if you don't like the stock FM radio app. Next radio app is your next uh, option. All right, you want to turn on your internet access. I got to turn on my internet access, okay? All right, so we're going to go to Google Play Store, and this is only available on the Google Play Store. Want to search offline radio? You can do that or next radio, and it's going to pop up. It's right here. Next, let me get the auto focus in. Next radio, free live radio. You tap on that, you hit install. It's already installed. I'm on the beta version. All right, so and then you open it up and next radio, and boom, you get your basic tuner. You can add or subtract. You can add them, um, um, take out. So it's all up to you. Sometimes it take a minute. Sometimes it don't. It just depends. Depends on it. Like the app, like it's not being updated. They stopped support on it. I guess they went out of business or whatever, but it still works on my accounts. I've downloaded on my Samsung Galaxy S7. I used it on my LG V35. I even um, put it on my uh, lady's um, LG V30 phone. She has it on her LG V30. Uh, I have a homeboy. He has a Samsung Galaxy J7 on Verizon. 
It works on his uh, Samsung Verizon phone. Um, also, a co-worker, he didn't even know that he had an FM radio in his phone. I downloaded the next radio app on his Motorola E, his Moto E phone, and he has free music, free live local news, free podcast, free ESPN, and you can get all that on your FM radio on your Motorola or the next radio. As long as you got the FM radio app already on your phone, the next radio app should work. But I have to warn you guys at the end of this video, um, it doesn't 100% support all the latest new, you know, 2020 devices. But if you already have a phone with the FM radio, like the new mobile, uh, the Sony Xperia's, um, the Nokia's, the Blues, the ZTEs, um, the LGs, any phone that has the FM radio app already on it, then you should be able to, you know, listen to the radio, listen to what's going on around you in the world right now. If if you are able to get internet, like I'm showing y'all right now, watch this. Okay, I told y'all I'm on a data, I'm on a non-data phone plan. This is on text now. This is on text now with the call and texting plan only. That's for free. As you can see, my Pandora can't connect because I'm not on Wi-Fi. I don't have unlimited data. I don't I don't have data. It says waiting for a connection. Try again. Retry. Pandora, because I don't have the premium Pandora, I can't download my playlist offline of Pandora. Another way, Spotify. Okay. It may look like I got Spotify, and that could be it, but watch me try to play Drake Radio. It is not playing. No internet connection available. That's what I'm saying. So people can't get mad at me if they, they get on these plans and say, oh, I don't have internet. I can't get internet. Look in your devices. If you got a Nokia phone, a Sony phone, a Motorola, a Samsung, an LG. I can't, I can't, I can't help you all on Google Pixels. I can't help you all on iPhones because Google and Apple say no to the FM chip. They disabled the FM chip in their devices and they claim that they don't have the FM chips in their devices. But Motorola, Nokia, Sony, Samsung, LG, Blue, ZTE, New Mobile, have the FM chips in their phones. You just have to go through your apps and find an FM radio app or go through the Google Play Store and look for this application called Next Radio and see if that application works for you. Okay, this is the, unfortunately, shout out to the headphone jack. This is the way, and, and Bluetooth. Uh, like I said, you, you can use the FM radio on Motorola with Bluetooth. Um, all you guys got to do, once again, Let's go down here at the bottom and put on Bluetooth. And there you go. Okay. And let me turn it off. All right. So, yeah, that's. Unfortunately, I, I'm only this. The, to me, I'm, I'm thinking about people that are in areas with, with bad signal. They got too much buffering going on, on their smartphones. That don't have enough storage to download on their smartphones. Um, also, like I said, don't have the coverage and don't have Wi-Fi connectivity. Turn Wi-Fi because, you know, I'm at a place with Wi-Fi on. So now I'm able to use Pandora and Spotify and YouTube or whatever. But if you don't have a premium package where you can download offline music and movies and all that stuff like that. And you're trying to listen right then and there, but you're out of internet, you're out of data, or T-Mobile's down, Sprint's down, Verizon's down, US Cellular's down, at and is down, you don't have that, that connection, then you're out of luck. And then you're going to go to Twitter and cry, I don't have no connection, I don't have no data. Well, look no further. Get your Motorola, Samsung, LG, Nokia, Sony, Blue, ZTE, or new mobile smartphone with the FM radio. That's facts. 
All right, that's all I'm speaking right now in this video. All right, so now you know the secrets behind Android. There are a lot, and then on top of that, Android Auto works offline. Like, what I mean offline, it works without um, having um, unlimited data. It really does. Let me uh, take the, let me turn it off. But um, it works without having unlimited data. Okay, I got Do Not Disturb on, but it is what it is. So I, because I got YouTube Premium, I can download, I can play my offline music, and I can still see the weather. And I told y'all, this is on a text now calling text implant. And I can use Waze. Waze still works with our internet and Wi-Fi. It still works with our internet and Wi-Fi. Still giving me the maps of my location. Okay? When I travel, this still works even offline. So, you know, all you got to do is trial and error. Ladies and gentlemen, trial and error with your Android devices. Shout out to the Moto Gs. That's all I got to say. This is why I like Motorola so much because they, they have the best FM radio app on the planet outside of Next Radio, which works on any phone. But if you don't have the FM chip and don't have FM access, you're screwed. You're out of luck. Like I said, I feel sorry for iPhone users. I, I feel sorry for Google Pixel users that don't have a backup phone. This is why I call myself two phones. You got to have a backup phone. I don't care. You got a dual SIM device. Okay, so AT&T down or, okay, vice versa. T-Mobile down, but you got AT&T SIM. That's fine, but what if AT&T is down? Well, you're not getting no data. Well, you're not getting no network. Then you screw, you can't listen to your music if it's not downloaded already. Don't have the SD card slot. So you're done. So this is why I say, for those of you, <laughs> those of you got low memory, just download the, the next radio app or, or get the FM radio. Find it in your Motorola phone or Nokia, uh, Samsung, Sony. See if you got it. All right. See if you got it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Um... Uh, why don't you use the FM radio? And did you know your phone even has the FM radio? And but like I said, iPhones and Pixels never had the FM radio. Neither ne the Nexus. So, all right. So shout out to Motorola, Samsung, LG, Nokia, Sony for keeping the FM radio chips alive. Two phones, deuces.